What it is, my Tano Peace and Grease here, and for today's WDIF, or where do I find, we're talking about Oxium. Now, after the Great Galatia debacle of 2018, where the hell do you go to farm Oxium now in 2019? Well, I'm going to be recommending two locations, and both of which have pros and cons. Now, this is a video about farming and farming Oxium, so for this reason, I do recommend that you bring a farming frame. In this case, a Necros or Necros Prime, whichever you happen to have is entirely fine. I do also recommend a resource booster because, you know, it doubles your drop, so why not have one? Now, a couple things to remember about farming, for those that are unaware, run with the full squad. Running with the full squad means more enemy spawn. More enemy spawn means more resources drop. Also, make sure you try and stay longer, particularly in, in the case of defense missions, because DE has tweaked this so that if you stay longer, those enemies are going to spawn more, which means you get more of those resources. Now, on both of these locations, I made multiple runs back to back, ran them every time solo, ran 10 waves every time, and they took about 10 minutes for a comparison between the two. Alright, so let's get down and dirty. So the first location we're going to be talking about is on Venus. Now, there's only one reason this is on the list, and that is for new players. If you're a new player, you probably feel a little left out in the cold as far as Oxium. Well, that's what this locate that's what this particular location is on this list for. It's for you guys and gals. So Tessera on Venus is what I'm going to recommend. Now, there's a few things to keep in mind about Tessera, and that is that there are several cons. This just isn't a good location. It's a it's a very low traffic location because most players once they clear this, they don't ever bother coming back because there's no reason to come back. People don't come here to farm Oxium. People don't come here to farm Relics. They don't come here to level gear. Now, I'm sure at this point, many of you are like, well, what the hell, Peace? If it's that bad, why are you recommending it? Well, as I said, for new players. If you have limited options as far as planets to farm Oxium, this is the location I recommend. So, the one big pro of this is that, first of all, it's on Venus, so it's very, very, very early in the star chart. Second, it's a very low level defense, level 3 to 8. So it's very easy for anyone to run this mission. Alright, now in my 10 wave runs, which took about 10 minutes, I ended up on average with about 100 Oxium, and that's with a booster. So yeah, that's a very tiny amount of Oxium. But again, if you don't have any other option as far as planets to farm, here you go for those new players out there. Now the next location we're going to be talking about is a location that you all know, you all love, you all can't wait to get back to it. Io on Jupiter. You knew I was going to say it, didn't you? Of course you did. Now, this is a location I actually predicted prior to the Galatia uh, patch, but that this was going to become the next Oxium farming location, and here we are. Now, Io has got several big pros. In fact, the complete opposite of Tessera. Now, Io is a high traffic location. For this reason, people come here to level gear. People come here to farm relics, because relics drop a lot. You can get Miso and Neo relics here. Okay, people come here to farm Oxium. So usually anytime, 24-7, day or night, you will typically always find an open squad and people wanting to run this location. So all you have to do is leave your squad open if you don't have any, happen to have any online friends on at the moment. Leave your squad open, jump in, you're going to get randoms queue up with you. So uh, yeah, big pro there. Now in my runs, again, 10 waves, took about 10 minutes. I ended up with about 314 Oxium. Yeah, that's a, a big difference between Tessera. But again, this is for those two new players to realize that they need to get through those planets. Clear that star chart. Because as you do, things get better and better. And this is a perfect example. Now you're probably wondering at this point, wait a minute, Peace, you said there was a con with Io. And the answer is, mm, yeah, you're right, there is. Now let me explain. The con is the amount of Oxium. Now, while this Oxium looks great compared to a location like Tessera, Galatia used to easily triple to quadruple 
the oxium that Io drops in the same amount of time. All right, solo for solo. All right. So, yeah, even though this is the current, quote-unquote, best Oxium farm that i found so far, it's still a shadow of what Calatia was, unfortunately. But that's really kind of the only con here. So, with all those things said, let me know down in the comment section your favorite Oxium farming locales. And until next time, peace and grease.